Hey, uh, Nigel Moore here, and I just want to show you one of the most amazing features inside Growably. It's a feature called Custom Values, and it's uh, part of what High Level has built for us agency owners to be able to push stuff down to you, our clients and members and users of Growably to make things nice and easy. And so what it is, is when you say, for example, you've got a, your own logo and your own primary color and your own secondary color, whenever you create anything inside Growably, if you use these custom values, you only ever have to update that thing once in your custom value. And it updates the color or the logo or the text or whatever it is everywhere throughout every every spot that you use that particular variable in your Growably account. And so I'm going to show you here where you can, an example of using that in the web pages. So we've built a Growably website builder system where you can go and create amazing MSP websites very simply using a bunch of templates. And so first off, I'm just going to show you very briefly in here. If you go into settings in your Growably and you go down here to this custom values section here, you will see all the custom values that we have set up for you. There's 14 that we create by default. At the, at the time of recording this, there's 14 in here by default. And you'll see they're all different things. Like there's your dark background color, your, your light background color, um, logos for dark backgrounds, logos for light backgrounds, your primary color, your secondary color, from emails and stuff like that. All of these variables, all of these are variables. And they this key here is the variable name. So wherever you put that variable name anywhere in Growably, inside emails, inside surveys, inside websites, whatever it happens to be, or funnels, it will it will replace it with whatever value that you've got over here. Now, by default, when we create you your Growably account, we put in some placeholder values here so that things don't break and look like crap. And so we put in our primary color and our secondary color and our dark background color and our links to our logos. Well, actually, that's not our logo. That is a, you'll see it here. It's a, a little fancy put your logo here logo uh, that shows up. So it, it prompts you that you've got to go and add yours. So what you need to do is you just need to go through here and add, update these hex values to your primary and secondary and dark and update these here to the URLs of your logo, which you can store over here in the media library. Once you've done that, then if you go back out here and go into, let's, let's use the example of creating it on a website or using those custom values in a website. So we'll go into sites. We'll go into websites. We'll go into the, the Growably site builder. I know that the, edit, the message here says, do not edit, clone me. However, this is just a test account. So I'm okay to, to, to I'm not going to edit and clone it. If you're using this Growably site builder, you must clone this thing here before you use it. But I'm just going to go into this particular one. Uh, I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to go like testing, um, the path of testing. I'm going to create the page. And um, these are all the different elements here that you can put on a page. Whenever you're using the Growably Site Builder, you should always, always, always click this button here first. The one that says open me before using, click that. It opens in a new tab and it shows you all of the different elements that you can use on your page from there. But I'm just going to bypass all that now because there's another video that runs you through that. I'm going to go down to this new testing thing here that I've created. I'm going to edit this page in a new tab, which opens it up in a new tab. And I'm just going to put a footer on this page um, that's from the Growably site builder. So once the editor loads, I am going to drag out uh, footer, which um, again, there's another video that shows you how to use the Growably site builder. I'm not going to show you how to use that in this particular video, but you, I'm going to pull out footer seven, one of my favorite footers. And this one here, you can see that there's orange on here. Now, uh, to save you from having to click on every single one of these elements, see that little orange underline there? If I click on that, um, if, if we give you this, this footer here and, um, and your colors are different to or your, your secondary color is different to orange, then you're going to have to click on every single one of these individual elements here and, and update the colors across here to orange. Uh, the same with your logo down here and the same with your, 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 your agency name or your, sorry, your company name and your terms of service link and those sorts of things. And so we make it nice and easy here or the, the, the feature in high level, the custom values feature makes it nice and easy. So if I pick this little unline here, for example, and I go over here to color and I click on it, you'll see it's selected here as orange, but here's the trick. And I'm going to move me out of the way here. So my ugly mug isn't in the way. But if I click on that, you'll see that it, it says um, there's a little update button that pops up here. And if I click on the update button, you'll see the, the color doesn't actually have a hex code in it. It's got the variable name in it. So it says custom values dot secondary underscore color, which is that color that we had before. So wherever and, and if I go through even this little button over here on the right hand side, if I go and have a look at the color of that, it's not orange when I click on it. If I click on the update thing here, it's secondary color. So if I go back into, um, I'm going to click save on this now so that we've got the border out there so that can be saving in the background. Um, 
And then while that's saving, I'm going to go back to here and I'm going to go into my custom values and I'm going to pick a beautiful purple that I've picked um, picked early. And I'm going to update the secondary color value. You can see that's the variable name there that was used in the color. And I'm going to edit that to this beautiful purple that I got here. Uh, so copy the hex value for that, paste it in there, press save. That updates the value as you can see here. Now I go back over here. And if I press refresh on this page now, it's going to reload the, the Groldly site builder with that footer in it. But you'll see that all of the elements in there that used the secondary color variable will now be all updated to our beautiful purple. Um, won't be a moment. And then um, then we're good to go. And that, that, the, the thing with this is it makes it super, super easy. You can see now everything's purple. If I went into this custom values here and I added my, um, this is the dark background logo, I think. If I go to logo over here, um, you'll see custom values logo dark background. So if I added my logo dark background in there, for you, or if you added your logo dark background in there, um, then it would also show up in here. But that's the easy way to do it. Obviously, you're not probably going to use purple like this, although there, there, there probably is a few brands out there that look okay with this purple, but I just picked one. Um, and that makes it nice and easy. And you can use these custom values in websites and funnels and surveys and forms and um, as emails, all of your email marketing can, can use it. And, um, and it doesn't have to be colors that can be um, text and all sorts of different things that you can use for your custom values. Like this here, you've got some HTML for the footer. We've got my name here. We've got an email address in this custom value. And so whenever I use these things here um, throughout any of my templates or anything inside Growably, it embeds that custom, the value of that custom value in there. And as I said at the beginning, whenever we roll stuff out and push it into your Growably account for you, which we do from time to time, uh, we work our butts off to make sure that every area that we possibly can use these custom values, we do. That means that things are going to look like us to start off with, but all you need to do is only update it once in here and it's going to look like you rather than having to update it in every single thing that we send you. You literally spend three to five minutes once, update your 14 custom values in here, and that's it. You're done. Once off, never, never need to touch it again. And everything that we push you will then be branded in your own stuff. So hopefully that helps. It is an awesome feature. Get used to using it. You can go and create your own custom values in here for whatever the heck you want. I know I have seen some um, high level accounts with hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of custom values that people have created and used through all sorts of different areas of their thing. So uh, feel free to go wild. We give you these 14 to get started with. We will probably add some from time to time as we go and create new features and new things in there as well. And um, and as I said, when we create your Growbly account, we just fill out the values in here with some placeholder values that you just need to go and update. That's all from me. Enjoy. I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.